Now, at the risk of offending um, people of different religious persuasions, let's try this for a minute. God stands for greatest of designers. <laughs> and the job ticket comes in, it says, we need a universe in seven days. And God says, shit. Actually, he says, holy shit. <clears throat> Only seven days? So quickly, he gets all of his designers together. He gets the ones who are like really good at round shapes. He gets all the designers over here really good at landscaping. Even though there was no land at that point, he knew there was going to be land. He gets the ones who needed flowers and bugs and birds and all that stuff. Four-legged transportation systems, right? So he gets the guys doing the four-legged trans... Back then, most of the designers were men. I don't know why. But so I just use guys generically. It's not a gender reference. <clears throat> he gets the designers together who knew the four-legged transportation system. And he says, I want your best ideas before the week is up. And there were those who thought, you know, the best transportation system would be a white stallion. Right? Can you just imagine that designer? And then there were the designers who said, no, it's got to be a black stallion. Of course, there was the marketing team who had done some research, and they believed that the best transportation system of four legs was a camel because you could nestle yourself right in the middle. And God said, you know what, that camel looks like hell. But if you want to put it into production, go ahead. <laughs> because God was benevolent. Everything was good. Everything was OK. And it would live and die just based on its own success. Right? But the marketing team did come back. And they were really proud on that last day. They gave God what they called another safe solution. ASS. They lifted the board. The humps were gone. It had short little legs. If you fell off, you didn't fall too far. It had long ears you could hold on to. It was done. It had a big belly, your legs just like this. That's how you drive it. ASS. <laughs> but just imagine the flower designer. Okay, the flower designers, they didn't solve the problem saying, you know what? Flowers should only be 032 red, 116 yellow, warm gray 7 and white. They didn't do that. They said any color for every person on that team, they were able to have a zillion ideas. They were so plugged into like love and the creative energy up there in heaven, they were just like <laughs> didn't stop. They had once, I want my flower to eat bugs. <laughs> just kept going. You know? I want mine to shrivel up when you touch it. Whatever. Put them all into production. So I think that's the lesson. I think that's the lesson. I'm of the belief that if you have an idea quickly, that's the good idea. How many times as designers have we dismissed that idea? Ooh, that couldn't be the right idea. That came too fast. How many times have we been working, all of a sudden the machine just goes, Vroom. it's like, what the hell? That's what it wanted to be. That's the one that says, over here. Come on over here. Try me. But usually we resist. We want to make it hard on ourselves. Right? Oh, this, this doesn't feel like work. It's not work. It's life. It shouldn't be work. OK, one more time. Are we done? You don't want to launch me again. OK, I thank, <laughs> I thank you very much. I thank Rob and Joellen and everybody who's associated. Steve, thank you very much.